the Middle East are subject to censorship. However, today the media were given a positive statement from the Allied commander in the Gulf. General Schwarzkopf claims the war could be over in two days if the Allies were prepared to inflict huge numbers of Iraqi casualties. But the man who's known to his troops as Storm and Norman has praised the difficult job done by the Allied troops so far. The general is probably the most heavily protected man in Saudi Arabia. Even on a short trip through the centre of Riyadh, he's surrounded by tough-looking bodyguards packing an armoury of automatic weapons. General H. Norman Schwarzkopf spends most of his time in his HQ, snatching the odd hour of sleep, itching to get out into the field, but resigned to running his campaign from his war room. He looks almost like the Hollywood version of a four-star general. His nicknames are Storm and Norman and the Bear, and he is a soldier's general. He served two tours in Vietnam as an advisor to the South Vietnamese Airborne Division and as the commander of an American infantry battalion. He has a chest full of medals, including two Purple Hearts, but above all, he cares deeply for his troops and his overriding concern is to keep casualties to an absolute minimum. When I talked to General Schwarzkopf today, he said the war could be over in a matter of days if America was prepared to unleash all its power. But first I asked him how important militarily and politically it was to knock out Iraq's Scud missiles. And militarily it's unimportant. Uh, as, as I think we've clearly seen so far, the Scud is nothing more than a terror weapon. It has no military significance. Uh, and if it's continued to be used the same way it's been used in the past, it absolutely has no military si significance at all. Politically, uh, frankly, it shouldn't have a significance. I, I think that, unfortunately, uh, uh, it, it, it's, it's taken on more significance than it should. But saying that scuds are, are a danger to your nation is like saying that lightning is a danger to your nation because, it, you know, I frankly would be more afraid of standing out in a lightning storm in southern Georgia than I would be standing out in the streets of Riyadh when the scuds are coming down. If it's going to hit you, it's going to hit you, but the percentages are so much less. General Schwarzkopf said he hoped Israel would not retaliate for the latest Scud attack. I think the state of Israel understands that the exact objective Saddam is trying to obtain by attacking them with Scuds is to bring them into this war. And if they were to come into this war, they are in fact doing exactly what Saddam wants them to do. And that's certainly not in the best interest of everyone involved. Then General Schwarzkopf talked about how quickly the war could be over if America paid no heed to casualties. Uh, this whole thing could be over in a couple of days if we were the type of nation uh, that chose to unleash all of our power without regard to the, the, the innocent uh, civilians that would be killed, uh, you know, and if we, if we didn't care about, uh, you know, uh, the destruction of an entire nation, we could do that easily and have this whole thing wrapped up in a matter of days. General Schwarzkopf said Iraq's elite Republican Guard were being carpet bombed and explained why. The Republican Guard essentially is the force that has kept Saddam in power all of these years. So if the Republican Guard is destroyed, then the likelihood of Saddam remaining in power is very, very low. Could you uh, tell us what, uh, you, how you rate the British contribution to Tornado? Is it important? Is it, is it vitally important? As far as their contribution, it's been absolutely superb, and it is a major contribution, and I am damn glad they're with us. General Schwarzkopf said he thanked God that casualties so far had been so low and he prayed that they would continue to be that way. What he would like to do most would be to get this thing over with, accomplish all his objectives and go home.